Hey everyone, Daniel Webster here from Pocketnet.com, and today I'm showing an inexpensive GPS alternative to Garmin and TomTom for your Windows mobile device. And this program is called Zorro GPS, and it can be downloaded directly to your computer and then saved to a storage card. So it helps eliminate the data usage if you're traveling in an area that doesn't have data. So I'm just going to go through some of the features of the program. Of course we have the map and we can zoom in and zoom out. So I'm just going to zoom out all the way so you can see that you can select many different maps. And there's a lot of different pricing features and I'll post those on pocketnow.com after I'm done with this video. So we can zoom out. We can zoom in. And, that, and we can select two-dimensional or three-dimensional views. So that's a great feature to have on a navigational program. We're just going to go into some of the features. If we wanted to navigate to an address, we can just select address point of interest. We can type it in. We can have there's many different keyboards you can select because it's an international product. So right now I have the QWERTY keyboard set up. So I'm just going to cancel. We can go to our favorites. So if you have some favorites you can save in here, this is a great place to save them to. Just go back. We can see what point of interests are around our area. So if we wanted to search for, oh I don't know, entertainment. We can just search, apparently there's garden, Jenkins Creek Garden, which is pretty close. And go back. We can go to our contact information, and this is where it gives us our contact. We can go directly to our contacts just by selecting one of them. We're, we'll go back now. We can view on the map, and we can also go to recent. So if you visit a place, you can also see how to get back to that location again. We'll go over. We can, get, we can set up an alternative route. We can go to the points of interest on our trip, route information, route view, roadblock, and we can also delete our route. So we'll just go to the next one. We can look at our GPS. We can also go to the GPS panel, which will show you the satellites that we're connected to. And you can see where you are. And it will show you current street as well as longitude and latitude and altitude. So just hit cancel. And we'll just hit cancel. We can see our GPS tracks, our planning of our trip, help me information, simulation, and we can change our vehicle. So if we wanted to change to a pedestrian or to a bicycle, we can do that. It's pretty simple. Just click this button and go over again. This is where we can change our volume, our day and night. We can set that up. And I have it. You can set it to auto, so it'll change automatically. You can see 2D and 3D planes. And change the orientation of the screen, so if you want it to be horizontal, you can do that. And we can go into Options. So we can set up Avoidance. Set it for Highways. If we wanted to eliminate the use of Highways, we can just click here. And it will use most Highways, or no Highways at all. So Highways are okay. We can change our Guidance. So I have it set for Full Detail. You can change it to City and Highway, Highway, Detail, Guidance and filter, and we'll just hit cancel on this. We can allow tolls. I don't like tolls, so I'm just hit no tolls. And we can see our destination. I have it set to no flag right now, but I'm actually going to change that and just hit OK. Go over again, we can get menu information. So if we wanted to change the background, like if I wanted to change this, I can change the skin. So if I wanted to go to like a jungle, it'll change all the buttons to a jungle theme. I'll just change it to snow because I think that's probably a little bit easier to see. Yeah, it is. So um, you can also change some of the buttons. So if you don't want any buttons, like right now I don't have any buttons, but you can turn them back on and turn them off. You can also change the colors of your buttons. So right now I have it on red. I'll change it to blue. And it will load the blue button. So we'll just hit OK. We can also set the speed limit, points of interest on map, map alarm, voice alarm. We can go over again. We can actually play our media through this uh, GPS navigation program. So if we have any music or videos, we can actually play them directly through here. So OK. We can set up security. So if we only want us to be able to use this, we can change our username and turn off the security, turn on the security, set a home address or company, as well as change a PIN. So that if somebody was to steal your Windows mobile device, you, they wouldn't be able to access this program. And click over again, and we can select our country of origin. So if we want to select the city, this will actually take you to the country. So I'm going to select the United States, of course. 
select the date and time which voice you would like. So right now I'm on US English. And you can actually pick different voices, which is pretty cool. So if I wanted to pick Ryan, I can pick that person's voice. And we can just hit OK, and it will change the voice. We can also select miles. So if we want it in miles and yards, we can select that, or miles and feet, or kilometers. We can also change the text. So for different languages, we can change that as well. And there's a few different languages. As you can see, this does support many different countries. We can also change the keyboard. So I have it set to a QWERTY keyboard. You can change it to ABC if you prefer, or many different other language keyboards. So we'll just OK. I'm actually going to go into a simulation so you can see and hear how the GPS navigation actually works. So we'll just select one of these, and it'll start the simulation program. OK, so here I have the navigation. And it's actually going through a simulation. And this is just in New York City. Go straight forward. And it will tell you which directions to go. Forward. And it's actually a pretty powerful GPS program, so I'm just going to turn it off right now. Forward. Just exit this. So this is Zorro GPS, and it works on any Windows Mobile 5 and greater device. It does require that you have a storage card because it is rather large. Uh, for the United States maps alone, it was just around 2.5 gigs. And I will post a link on pocketnow.com as to how to get this. There are many different pricing features, so you can select your individual state if you want, which is pretty cheap, all the way up to North America or any other country in the world.